Welcome back everybody, I'm Jake the Scary Story Guy. No intro music today because this is the latest installment in my Movies I Missed series in which I give a shorter than usual review about a great horror movie from the past. Last time we talked about The Descent, today we are talking about Orphan, the 2009 film starring Vera Farmiga, Peter Sarsgaard, and an absolutely S-tier, we're talking Hall of Fame child performance from Isabel Furman who plays Esther. Now Esther is an orphan girl from Russia who gets adopted by an American couple. And as she starts to adjust to her new life, strange and terrible things start to happen around her. Now, I'd heard of this movie. I, I knew it by the cover, mostly, the, the creepy orphan girl with pigtails. I actually recognized the girl a few years later when I saw her in the Hunger Games movie. She was one of the, the tributes, the, the kids trying to kill Katniss in the arena. But I didn't really know what to expect here when I fired it up. And let me tell you, this was not what I expected. First of all, this movie's really good. And I think somewhere back in the day, I had heard that it wasn't. So I just kind of assumed, oh, another creepy kid, creepy orphan movie, whatever, probably sucks, not gonna see it. But I was very, very wrong. There is a lot more than meets the eye with Orphan. This is a tightly directed movie with an absolutely phenomenal cast and just a really like well-struck tone. It's the kind of movie that really could have been a disaster if it tried to be anything other than like exactly what it was. It's in a very, very specific lane. And you know, it's campy, but it does have to ride that fine line between like being this schlocky fun camp fest and also being a movie that's genuinely in parts like what the fuck that's up. And really every conversation about this movie needs to begin and end with Isabel Furman. I was not exaggerating earlier. This is truly one of the great child performances in cinematic history. She's got to go places in this movie that it's like, I think maybe for good reason, most movies aren't actually comfortable having kids go and it takes a lot of maturity to pull off. And I'm not talking in the, the Linda Blair and Exorcist way where it's just like she says some bad words and does some crazy shit. It's, it's like there's a level of emotional depth to her character that is just astounding to see someone of that age portray so well. And with that, I am going to dive into some spoiler talk from here on out. So if you haven't seen this movie, please know that I like it, know that I recommend it, stop what you're doing, and watch it. For the rest of you, you've been warned, spoiler talk starts now. Okay, so obviously the reason that the character of Esther needs to have adult-like emotional depth is because she actually is an adult. <laughs> What a twist, right? I honestly did not see it coming in the slightest. She's got a rare form of, of I don't know if it's dwarfism or a thyroid disorder or whatever, but it makes her look like a child when she's basically in her 30s. And so she's a grown woman who is desperate for like an adult relationship and, and, and romantic love, but it's obviously fairly hard to find that when you look like a nine-year-old. So little psychopath that she is, she apparently decides the best way to do this is to get adopted by a family posing as a, as a child, get the mom out of the picture by whatever means necessary, and then seduce the quote-unquote dad. And of course the only way this works is if the adoptive father is just an absolute freak show of a human being, but you know, beggars and choosers I guess. So this movie's just a total tightrope for Isabel Furman from start to finish because at the beginning Esther's got to make all the adults think that she's just this delightful, well-mannered little girl who's maybe just weird or mature beyond her years, and then she's got to make the audience believe that she is a totally demented, psychopathic, serial killer child, and then she's got to make everyone believe that, oh, she's actually just a very tormented, like, crazed adult. And if she doesn't pull off any one of those things, the movie fails. She must have been one of the only kids on the planet who could have pulled this off. I mean, it's it's truly remarkable. And the rest of the cast is great, too. I will never get mad seeing Vera Farmiga in a horror movie. She does a fantastic job as the mom who's just like, am I the only one who sees what a little freak show this kid is? The scene where Esther gives her the flowers is just a master class from both of them. One final kind of hilarious detail about this movie is that you, you might have been thinking, well, this is the kind of movie that'll make me never want to adopt kids. And apparently the filmmakers were thinking that too, because there's this like PSA in the DVD of this movie, like, no, please everyone go adopt kids. You really need to adopt kids. But before you go adopt a kid, you should watch Orphan. It's a great time. I'm going to give it four stars out of five. And apparently there's a sequel or a, a prequel or something that just barely came out last year. And uh, people are torn on it, but I need to see it. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, thank you for watching this video. And here's hoping you survive to see the next one.